Hey everybody, Celia the Lice Lady here. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. If you have any questions, leave it below. So today we're gonna talk about something that is totally not a fun topic, so I'm sorry if you decide to bail out early. I don't blame you, but I hope that you stick around because it is super educational. So we're gonna talk about the differences between lice versus body lice. The World Health Organization said that head lice is the most prevalent parasitic infestation in the United States and Europe today. So that being said, that's a little bit better news than crab lice or body lice being the most prevalent parasitic infestation. We're gonna talk about the differences in the looks between the two. When you're talking about head lice, head lice typically are a little bit longer and skinnier than body lice. Body lice are a little bit shorter and fatter. Sometimes people have a hard time seeing this when just looking at it with your eye instead of underneath a microscope. A lot of people don't have access to a microscope, but if you can tell, that's the difference between the two. When you're talking about head lice, head lice can travel to the eyebrows and the eyelashes. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. When you're talking about body lice, body lice typically are in the pubic areas and they can travel up to the eyelashes and the eyebrows. And we can see them on the head sometimes. So head lice can travel down a little bit, body lice travel up. Head lice do not travel all the way down. Do not confuse body lice with scabies that's something totally different. If you have itching on your skin, things like that, um, go to your doctor. Talk to your doctor about this. If you're seeing other things on your skin, we here at Lice Clinics of America don't take care of body lice. We just take care of the head. We have that FDA cleared medical device that can dehydrate the eggs, but it's only on the head. We don't have a solution for the lashes, for the eyebrows, for anywhere else on the body. That's something that your physician is gonna have to help you with. If you do have any questions, however, we would love to help you and we would love to point you in the right direction. So make sure that you leave it in the comments below or you do contact that physician. We hope you have a happy and crab-free day.